The story I'm going to tell you comes from the city of Hull, which is halfway up England on the east coast, where there's a big river comes in, the River Humber, a big estuary. And uh, from that town, from Hull, many, sh many fishing boats used to go out into the North Sea and into the Atlantic. And many of the fishermen lived in a town nearby to Hull, the town of Hesel. And in that town, there was an old couple an old man and an old woman, and this old couple were the most bad-tempered, cantankerous, argumentative old couple that you have ever set eyes on. They would argue about anything. They would argue about what to have to eat, they would argue about the weather. One of them would say, oh, hasn't it been a lovely day today? And the other one would say, no, it's been cold. She said, and the other one said, well, you've been cold, how could you be cold? The sun's been shining all day. Well, I've been cold, I've had my jumper on all day. How could you? I've been in a t-shirt all day. It's been so hot. No, it hasn't, it's been cold. Hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. And they would argue like that until they were blue in the face. Now, one day they were walking down by, um, down by Hazel Foreshore, down by a pebbly beach, uh, and uh, they would often go down there walking together. And often they would argue and argue and argue. And they would argue at home. And their grown-up children, they stopped visiting them. They didn't want to be involved in the arguments. And one day their eldest son was there. And they started arguing. And the son said, look, if you two don't stop arguing, I'm never going to come here again. And so they called a truce. And they stopped arguing. And they didn't argue all of that day. And they didn't argue all of that week, and they didn't argue all of that month. And a month and a day later, they were walking down by the river, down by the pebbly beach, when there, washed up by the tide, was a bale of cloth, a roll of cloth. And the man said, hey, look at that, there's a roll of cloth there. And the woman went over with him, and he pulled the cloth up onto the shingle, and he said, oh, look at that, someone's gone and ruined it. Someone's gone and slashed it with a knife. And the woman looked at it and she said, Oh no, that wasn't done by a knife. That was done by a pair of scissors. He says, No, it wasn't done by scissors. You can see the slash marks of the knife. She said, No, you can't. You can see the snip marks of the scissors. He said, Look, I was a fisherman all my life. And I know the marks a knife makes. And let me tell you, those marks were made by a knife. No, they weren't, she said. I made clothes for the children all my life. And those marks were made by a pair of scissors no they weren't they were made by a knife scissors knife scissors knife scissors knife and he became so angry he gave her a push and she fell splash into the river down she went into the water <laughs> fought herself coughing and spluttering to the surface and she said scissors Knife, scissors, knife, blah, 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 blah. down she went again fought away to the surface scissors knife scissors knife down she went once more. And the surface of the water became completely still. But then her hand came up out of the water. 